Welcome into another 1031 disc golf video. If you've ever played disc golf, then you know that almost every single time your second shot is always better than your first. So today I'm doing a player one Round versus one. player two. Fight. Player one is my first shot. Player two is my second shot. So let's see how much better player two is than player one. Hey. All right, hole one, I'm out here at Mesker Park. It is down there to the left. And basically I'm gonna be 1v1ing myself. For my first shot, I'm gonna go with a zone out to the right of that tree and just let it fade back. Oh, I skied it a little bit. Down there for a putt, probably like a 30, little outside, outside circle. Player two, I'm gonna go with my Envy, same shot. See if I can't get it closer. Oh, that's looking much, much better. I think player two is a lot closer. Player two is pretty much parked and player one is over there. We got a putt at it. Oh, snuck it right over the cage. All right, player two. Birdie birdie off the start. All tied up going into hole two. This one is straight up the hill. I think I'm gonna do one forehand and one backhand. Backhand pure here. Oh boy. Not a good shot from player one. Oh no. Well, both shots are around the same area. Both players are about even here. It looks like player two is the first up. No, that was bad. Player two's opportunity to capitalize here and take the lead. Get down. Player one. Player two. Two pars, still all tied up. All right, hole three, straight, a little bit uphill, still all tied up. And I think I've decided that player one and player two need some names. So player one is gonna be Tom, and player two is gonna be Jerry. Shout out to all the Tom and Jerry fans out there. So let's see how Tom does. Flip. All right, Tom parked it. Oh boy, Jerry yanked it. You got a putt though, got a putt. Maybe hedge a circle. Jerry's gotta make a big putt here. Nope, that was terrible. Jerry's still further out. All right, for Tom's birdie. Tom takes the lead. All right, hole four, player one, AKA Tom, has taken the lead by one, two under to one under. This one is just to the left of that bridge, just a hyzer shot. So I'm gonna go zone and then I'm gonna go envy. Oh, that's tight. That'll be a long putt. Jerry's time to shine here. There we go. Is that chains? No chains, but I think that one's close. There's Tom and Jerry is right there. I think Tom's further out. Yeah, good putt. Good putt, Tom. All right, Jerry, don't let Tom big putt you now. Oh, 
Birdie, birdie. All right, hole five. Tom still has a one stroke lead. This one is straight, a little bit downhill. Road and beyond right is OB. Tom is going with the Volt. Oh boy. Sit. Long putt. Didn't swing it wide enough. Jerry going with a 1031 stamped T Bird. If you want to be like Jerry and have a sick looking disc, go over to 1031discoff.com. Tons of different molds over there. Now let's see it. Oh, I did the same thing. That one just didn't get a skip. Long putt for both of them. Here's Jerry's shot. No. Didn't put any anhyzer on it at all. Tom's got a little bit closer of a putt. If he makes this, two stroke lead. Did he do it? Right over top. Pulled it. And Tom. Oh, par par. Tom still has a one stroke lead. We're here to hole one at the course, but hole six in the challenge. This one's straight, it goes a little bit. There's a little bit of a hill in front of the basket. So there's a drop off behind it. I'm gonna go with a T-Bird or Tom's gonna go with a T-Bird. Just go a little bit to the right and let it highs your back. Sit. If you sit, that's money. Could be down the hill. Could be a long putt. See how Jerry does with a mid-range. One with a buzz. I'll get left. It's on top of the hill. It's a putt. Tom is over there. And Jerry went down the hill. Looks like Jerry's up first. I think I got that backwards. Tom is down here and Jerry is up there. Nope. We're running it. Running it. Ugh. Tom's putt. Par. Par par again. Hole seven. Tom still has a one stroke lead. This one is straight up on the hill. This is probably my one of my top five favorite holes. So let's see, Tom is gonna go with the buzz again. I'll get up. Still have a little work to do on that one. I never go forehand on this hole, but let's try it. A little bit long, but I think Jerry made a good choice. Made a good choice. We got Tom's putt here. I'm just going to tap this in for you, Tom, because that was heartbreaking. All right, Jerry, your chance to tie it up. All tied up. It is now all tied up going into hole eight. This one is straight up on that hill down there. And again, Tom is going with the buzz. Oh boy. Oh, just threw it low. For Jerry's shot, I'm gonna go a hyzer flip right at it with the meteor. 
Oh boy, get sneaky. Not OB, not OB. That road, that road and left is OB, I didn't mention that. This is Jerry's drive. The basket is up there on the hill. So I'm gonna try and do like a little flake Anheuser with the zone here. Oh, I hit that tree. Maybe that helped it. Overshot it. Here's Tom. I actually thought Tom was a lot shorter than this, but I actually have a birdie put at it. There is a drop off behind the basket. Really? You know, Tom and Jerry are both bogey free right now. So if they both bogey the same hole, that would be very, very disappointing. Down here in the woods, got a big par putt to make here to keep up with it. No. It's a bogey for Tom. No, Jerry. Bogey for Jerry. Tom's putt for par here. <sighs> Takes a stroke back for the bogey. <sighs> Jerry took his first bogey. Hole nine, final hole. The basket is, there's a really thick tree down at the very bottom and it's just like 30 feet behind that one. Tom now has a one stroke lead over Jerry. So let's see how this last hole plays out. I'm gonna go with a hyzer flip down the middle with a leopard here. Oh boy, threw it up too high. Threw it up too high and it caught a branch. Jerry is behind by one. Tom had a bad tee shot, so Jerry is gonna get aggressive. Go distance driver, hyzer flip down the middle. I'll get through there. Jerry is parked. You might have the playoff, folks. You might have a playoff. Tom is right here. I'm gonna give it a little bid but I just want to be parked for par, so I can at least go into a playoff here. Well, not really a bid, but should be a par. We got Tom's par. And we have Jerry's birdie. So now it's all tied up, so that means Playoff time. Before we see who wins the playoff, I wanna remind you guys of the giveaway we're doing in celebration of just hitting 500 subscribers. First, we're giving away a 1031 Disc Golf mug. We're giving away two 1031 Disc Golf Velcro patches. And we're giving away a custom 1031 stamped rate. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is go over to our Instagram and give us a follow. Subscribe here on YouTube and go over to this video and comment down below your favorite 1031 disc golf video. Now let's see who wins this playoff. All right, we're back here where we started. Baskets down there, we're gonna do a CTP to see who wins this nine hole battle between Tom and Jerry, AKA player one, player two. Tom up first with his own. Oh boy. It won't take much at all for Jerry to win this thing. <laughs> Jerry, again, going with the envy. You just gotta get it around the tree, Jerry, and you win it. Oh my goodness. Get back. Well, Tom, AKA first shot, was right here, and Jerry's down there by that tree, AKA second shot won the CTP challenge, so Jerry wins. So that just proves that your second shot is always better. So if you enjoyed the content, make sure to like, subscribe, and now onto the verse of the day.
Today's verse of the day is Proverbs 19, 21, and it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So it really is incredible how much power the words we say have, and this verse serves as a reminder for us to speak words that bring life rather than death, and be positive in what you say. Thanks for watching 1031 Disc Golf.